In this video, I'm going to share with you how you can set up an email sequence on Mailing Boss in Builderall. So before we get into the video, make sure you hit that subscribe button and leave a comment below saying I subscribe as I will go ahead and I will reply back to you. So the very first thing you gotta do is here on uh, Builderall, which is the tool that uh, has Mailing Boss, which is this tool over here. Now, by the way, if you don't have uh, Builderall, if, if you wanna try it, I will leave a link below. And so you wanna click here on Enter. Now I'm gonna click right here on Lists, just to show you that first you need to have a list. You need to create a list first before you even create a sequence, right? So make sure you have a list created. Then you wanna come here to, here on top, campaigns, and then right here, email sequence. On top, create new. Name, let's name our sequence. I'm gonna call Fabio Oric. I'm gonna choose a list. I'm gonna choose this list that I've created, Fabio Oric, which is the list that you want this follow-up to take place. So once they sign up into the list, they're gonna get all of these emails, right? So right here, it's in sent to future subscribers only or sent to current and future subscribers. So if you already have subscribers in the list and you want to send these emails to them, then you can choose this second one. But I normally choose this one, which is sent to future subscribers only and then save. Okay, so right here on the left, this box right here, each of these boxes like these is one email. So right here, it tells the, the, the date uh, when will it send the email, at what uh, day. And right here, it's it's if we want to activate the email. So first of all, it comes an email right here. So this campaign name, I always like to call uh, email uh, one, Fabio Oric, which is my list. I like to do it like this. Then on the subject line, this is the subject line of your email. So right here, you would say, welcome to my world and then right here you can write the the email i like to always start with like hi and then i like i put brackets like this and f name this code right here will grab their name and by the way if you want more codes to grab different things you can come here to available tags and it has more tags now you would go ahead and you will write the email as you would like right? And if you want, you can select the text and you can come here, right? And you could add a link over there, right? You could also come here to the right and add images, uh, all of this good stuff. Once you have the email written and everything, what you want to do is click here, done. Okay, so this is the first email, right? So now what we want to do is come here, it says zero days. This is uh, when will the email be sent? So let's say we want to send one hour after they subscribe. So I'm just gonna put here one. And then here on the autoresponder time, I'm gonna put one hour. And I'm gonna hit save. Okay, so our first email is here. Now what I'm gonna do is click here, activate. Okay, so what I just did there is this email, it's ready. When people sign up to this list, they're gonna get this email within one hour, right? So this is how you do it, right? So now you want the second email. So what you wanna do is click this button, add email. And there you go, it's gonna create, as you can see over here, it's gonna create another email right here, which is this one that we have open. And then this is gonna be email number two. So what I like to do here on the campaign name, I, I like to call email number two. And then the, the subject line, whatever you want. Then the email, again, you type whatever you want on the email just on your second email with image, you can add images on the right, right? You just can, uh, you know, drag like this, the image. And then you, if you wanna uh, grab an image from your computer, just click on the image, load image, and then just double click on the image. It will load the image over there, right? And if you wanna add a link to the image, just click on the image and you can add a link over there, right? So this is the second email. Let's go ahead and click done. Okay, so as you can see here on the left, we have uh, email number one that we already did. And now I'm gonna set up the day, uh, the time where I wanted to send it. And I, so it's already, it's already activated the email, right? 
that's which is okay. So let's now change the dates. So this email I wanted to send uh, on day number two, which is day number two is gonna be day number one because day number one is actually day number zero. Uh, zero. So day number uh, two, which is the next day is gonna be on day one, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and save. And as you can see here on the left, we have uh, our first email, which is this one, right, is here. It's active, it's sending, one hour. It's gonna get, they're gonna get this email. And then on day number two, which is day number one here, right? Uh, they're gonna get this second email right here and they're active, right? So now what you wanna do is you can add as many emails as you want to this sequence, right? And, um, and then that's it. Once you have that in place, you can come here to uh, campaigns on top, then email sequence. And this is the sequence that we've created. You can see over here, right? So we have the two emails right here. We have this one, right? And email number two. If you ever want to add more emails or edit, you just want to click right here on the title of the list. And it's going to bring you again to this place where you can add or delete emails. If you would want to delete one of the emails, you could just click on right here, right? And again, if you want to add, you keep on adding them over here. And there we go. This is how you do it. Now, let me show you something. Um, so we've added a sequence to the email, right? Now, imagine that uh, we want to do something like this, which is, okay, they go through all of these emails and at the end of the, the email, the last email, we want to move them from one list, which is this list that we have them on, and then we move them to another list where uh, we can do whatever we want there. Maybe we could have a different follow-up on that list that it takes them to a different uh, sequence, right? So I'm gonna go ahead, uh, it's not part of this video, because uh, this video is only, you know, how to go ahead and how to set up an email sequence, and I've showed you. But this, I'm gonna show you how to do this as well, because I find this to be important. So, so what you wanna do here on top, workflow. So workflows, so I'm gonna give it a name here on the left for this workflow. I'm gonna call it uh, Fabio Oric list to make money online list, okay? And then what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna select here on the left email sequence and I'm just gonna, you know, pull it over here to the right. And what I'm gonna do is click here to edit. And now what I, I'm gonna choose the list that I've just did the follow-up, which is Fabio Oric. Okay, so let's look for it, this one. And what I'm gonna do is click here, load sequence emails. Okay, so what this did is the emails that we've just created, it loaded over here, right? So what we can do now, this is the last email. Of course, we could have more emails, but this, in this case, this is the, the second email. So let's say after they get the second email, we want to move, the, move them or copy them to a different list. Let's just say we wanna, you know, just copy them. So what we would do is if they open over here, which is this button, if they, if, you know, if they open the email, let's go ahead and copy the subscriber to a new list. And now we select the list that we want them. In this case, let me go ahead and select the make money online list, which is my ongoing list. And let me hit okay, okay? So what, I, what I'm gonna do after, if, even if they don't open the email, I'm still gonna go ahead and move them as well. So this one, I'm gonna go ahead and, it's not, in this case, it's not moving, it's copy subscriber, all right? I'm copying. So I'm gonna go ahead and select again the same list, which is make money online list, and hit okay, okay? And there we go. So what this is doing is very simple. On the last email, I'm telling that if they open the email, I'm gonna copy them to my make money online list. And it, even if they don't open this email, on the last email when I send it, I'm still gonna go ahead and copy them to make money online. And this is really cool because you can move them from one you know, follow up from one list to another. And uh, it doesn't mean that the second list will follow up, but, uh, it, it makes a lot of sense to do this kind of thing because uh, you know once you f you send them email sequence, uh, then you want to move them to another list so you can you know after follow up on a different uh, offer or no or just value that you're gonna give them right. And there you have it. I hope that was helpful. 
If you have any questions, feel free to comment below as I will get back and answer any question you might have. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you did, did not like, give it a thumbs down. And if you know somebody that will benefit from this video, please share with them. And if you have not subscribed to the channel, I'm inviting you to subscribe and hit that uh, notification bell, you know, as I do videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday about making money online and helping you become great. I will leave a link below for you if you want to try Builderall. That will be below. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you taking the time for being here with me. It's really a pleasure. Thank you so much for being part of my family here on YouTube. I'm so excited and I'm so happy to have you here. Um, thank you and I love you. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate you. Thank you. Have a blessing day and I will see you next time.